Hello everyone, this is Averian from Improving Daily and today we'll be starting our XCOM 2 playthrough. Now XCOM, the series, is it's a game series that has a special place in my heart. I loved XCOM Enemy Unknown and I loved Enemy Within as well. And when Long War Mod came out, I loved it even more. And now that I've heard that Long War 2 is coming out for XCOM 2, I have to play the game again. Uh, and as a, as a result, I have loaded up a bunch of mods and uh, I will be sharing them with you in the description. And uh, I will be doing a recording of a full playthrough which will be uploading to YouTube. Now I've tried to record this three times now and OBS has fucked up every time. So I've tweaked my, uh, my graphics settings and we're going to try again. So let's jump right into the action. It's going to be a commander difficulty. It's going to be without the voiceover and it's going to be without the tutorial. Um, it is not going to be Iron Man because, um, well, some mods tend to break the game and I don't want to be halfway through my playthrough and then have to retrace my steps because the game fucks up. So in order for you guys to finish off um, the show. So start with that Iron Man and we're not going to enable the DLCs, uh, the DLC missions, story missions, because Mm, it just takes too long to complete with a squad size of 10. So let's get into it. Excitement continues to build the city centers across the globe. Prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. know that we're serious that we're ready to infiltrate the city centers and strike at their heart to that effect we're moving in to take out a high-profile target that will get plenty of people's attention especially advent move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces nearby Alrighty, so we got our mission the first mission is operation gate crasher we have to sabotage an evil advent monument and we have to do it in style, which of course we will because we're XCOM 
and that is how we do it. My team has liberated me from the evil advent hold and I will now take my revenge on the alien bastards. Just before we do though, let's check if OBS is still running. OBS is running. Let's go. Time to make the aliens bleed. I will say that while we're at it, I really love to do graphics. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Right, our squad starts in the concealed position and we're on a rooftop. Rooftop, not rooftop. Uh, in the middle of the map, it seems. Is the monument at the edge of the map? No, it is not. So we are roughly at the outer edge of the middle map and we will be able to continue in a concealed position. I do not think we'll reveal if we move up. But let's take a look at the team. Hello team. Welcome to XCOM. These are my squaddies and we got Hilda Sorensen Griffoon. We got Nick Keller Survivor. We got Midnight Sarah Campbell and we got Cummy Bear Victor Buerhood. So let's get into it. Say hello guys and let's go. Now I will start by actually moving this guy into position up here so we can get an aerial view of the area. Please don't reveal anything. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Alright, so we got three advent troopers down here in limited cover with four health bars. And I got no way to get a proper flank on them. Actually, I probably do, don't I? No. So let's. We got plenty of time, so let's take it nice and slow and set up half our troops up there and the other half over here. And then have one guy on Overwatch. Does my Overwatch keep working now? They're not moving. That's going to make this quite difficult because probably down there is actually an option. I'm impressed. I did not expect that. So let's drop Orders confirmed. On the move. these two. Make sure they don't reveal. Got it covered. That should not reveal. Don't reveal. Don't reveal. Don't reveal. Oh, that was fucking close. Right. Go back into Overwatch mode. Overwatch. One more watch. turn. Okay, take them out. So what we're going to do is most likely we'll be throwing a frag grenade. Yes, we will be throwing a frag grenade. Oh, there's a pigeon! Oh my god, there's a pigeon! Oh my god, it's it's an HD pigeon. They have actually made HD pigeons. I am so so happy. My life is worth something again. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit. If for those of you who are not XCOM fans, <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Basically, the pigeons used to be shit. Alright, uh, so those two will go on over. These two up here will go on over. Watch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. It's coming. And so will Cummy. And watch. Sarah will throw the grenade. Hopefully, netting her a kill in the meantime. At the same time. Oh, double kill! Holy shit, that's amazing. And she gets a promotion. That's less Im impressive in my opinion, but okay, she got a well earned promotion. Run, run, you crazy white man, run. Three damage. And five damage, and down he goes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good first pack for us here on XCOM, and a promotion for. Who was this again? Was it. That was Hilda. Okay, we got a decent start to the game. Right, let's set up Overwatch at the target area. Now we got complete sight of the frontal area, and since our concealment has been removed, we have to move carefully and in cover. So let's reload our top guy. Go on Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. And wait a turn. Alright, reload. Refine. Locked and loaded. Right, Sarah, move up. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Still no contact. Impressive. That's affirmative. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. 
Let's see if we can get some. We're getting some uh, audio cues now. There we go. Take a shot, Victor. Please. Ah, oh, yes, a kill, a kill. Sweet. Alright, promotion for him. We got an officer. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. A rushing. Right, we're not giving up. We we should be able to actually uh, deal with these guys quite easily, especially since I can get a flank on that guy. Headed there now. A flank on you. I got. Uh, Say something, I got a flag on you. And down the officer goes. I would actually like to spread out these kills a bit, but right now just getting them is more important than actually Yeah, I'm worrying too much about that. So securing the kills securing shit like that doesn't happen. It's actually more important. Well not take any fire in return, but now I will. Actually really shitty. Can I not move anywhere where I can get a shot on him? Hopefully I can get a shot off from down there, but I doubt I can. I will have to give it a shot. No. Alright, so Overwatch. See what he does. He runs. Is he scared? And he's flying. So we forced to run, which means he doesn't have a flank on anyone. He'll shoot at... Oh, that's a... Nasty wound. He's gonna be out for a little while. Can we uh, get another flank? We can get another flank on him. Uh, can you get a? F yes, you can. Let's go for a flank then. If you, if you can get the kill. I'd like you to get it. Yeah, there we go. Down he goes. So that means a promotion for you as well. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited. We're going to pick that up. Responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Blast west and a lot. Object to stop. Sweet. Double time. Get into position. Orders confirmed. And a watch. I'm on it. That should be the end of the mission for us. Almost flawless execution. Fortunately, that admin trooper got a good hit in on Nick. It's not all that, op not all that optimal. There we go. Down it goes. <sighs> he can't win every time. Almost flawless. I wanted that flawless. Giving me some extra resources. Yeah, look at this smock face on these guys. Look at the smock faces, yes. You've done well, guys. Let me check if it's cut out. No. It's still running. Sweet. We'll see on the loading screen we cut out the last three times. So I'm a little worried. A little bit worried here. Because I don't want to do this in section of recordings. But this this looks good. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. Oh great. Nineteen days. And he's my sharpshooter as well with squad side. Fuck. Oh, we gain a hacker, a specialist. Oh, we get a Oh we got a side trooper right off the bat. Psy operatives can tap into that same power. because she's I've leveled her up to it. So she doesn't have an ability yet, but she has been made an init initiate. So she'll be out for a little while. We won't be using her because she doesn't have any abilities. And we got our private first class Shinobi. I like that. So gravely wounded sniper. That's not really that, all that awesome. Oh, we got some loops. Commander to the research. Jesus lab. Christ. Okay, let's. Skip that because I don't want to listen to it again. We'll decrypt the advent lockbox to get I do find that area of research that to be scene among the more in and skip to engineering, get rid of that, build items. I want a flashbang, a medikit, and a smoke grenade. 
as well as a frost bomb and a hunter's axe. There we go. That means I, I am now running low like on shut up. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly uh. keeps you on your toes. So let's uh, have a look here. We got exposed power core and an exposed power core. So this this will be our power sensor. So it means we'll be working straight down. I never got around Get to asking the doctor, but uh, what exactly did And we'll start by building the gorilla tactics score. And then over here we'll be building the laboratory and then we'll build the workshop here. Shut up with all your talking. So let's give a look at our troops. I'd say we're lucky to have you with us. I appreciate the sentiment. Look, I don't mind this whole... I actually think it's a pretty cool story or narrative scenario that we have these guys talking and sharing stories, but damn, it's hard to stream. All right, so we got Nick, who's out for 19 days. We got our squad. We got Denise Oracle Campbell, another fucking side orbiter right off the bat. We've got Alex, Hunter, Alicia. We got Adrian the Cow Blomquist, Panda Matt Cowafelmal, and Salvador Di Marco. Uh, as you can see, some of them are custom names because they're custom so I've made. We also have Lisa Conan. Conan, oh, uh, I need to recruit you. Sorry, because yeah, I need to recruit you. Yes, awesomeness. Um, I made her. And we got Taya Sukman, Matthias Esequil Rivas, Yasuha Takaki. Birendra Chandran. What the fuck is up with these names? Natalie, Natalia Kolke. I have no idea. Uh, Guadalupe Melo, Thomas Bosch, Miraya Verma, and Leah Boucher. Okay. Um, so, pretty decent squad, or pretty decent selection of uh, random people we can choose. And we've got a research in a way. We built the Gorilla's Tactics School just to get that little bit of extra ability so I've been running and we can train officers and shit. Uh, I've been ignoring that. I want to test that out. Normally I go straight for a laboratory and then research, but we'll see how this works out. Um, in the engineering section, we build a frost bomb and we build one of each of the utility items. Let's get that one as well and go straight in. We are actually starting in Africa. Avenger, Fucking hell, we're starting in Africa. I just said in the last recording I did with one of those that I didn't actually share with you because it fucked up that we never start anywhere other than fucking Russia when I play this game. I've started in America once, but I've never started anywhere else other than Russia. And <laughs> right after I said that, now we're starting in Africa. Anyway, we need to scan for a soldier. Uh, contact the resistance. We'll be interrupting that to get the decrypted advent lockbox. Here we go. Could have predicted this outcome. So we can get a medium armor shotgun or grenade launcher. I think we'll do the medium armor. Bit of imprecise cobble together from salvage. Damage taken from advent magnetic weapons. Ooh, Queen Bee. Sweet. Hello, Commander. Okay, so we get specialized weaponry for this mod. I like that. Modular weapons, armor running. Thank you. Probably do, Tiger. Let's go. Scanning, 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 scanning. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. Weapon upgrades available. Sweet. Now we need to do the alien biotech because 28 days. Magnetic weapons, though. I really want them. Hybrid materials, as far as I believe, give us a vest, which is could actually be a bit useful if we play this like we did on Long War. Uh, and the biotech, which is biotech, gives access to psionics and shit. And then let's do the hybrid materials yeah, first. I normally do it the other way around, but let's do it like this. And let's go back to scanning. Firefight. The ground nearby was littered with shell casings and scorch from the impact of energy weapons. Summoning a seemingly desolate area, a lone veteran who had come to the scene with salvage for part of her 
Spot approach our squad, hoping to business it's a very okay. I'm making no sense, but okay. For the South African sector. That's okay. I got a new trooper, which will be very helpful when um, when we start actually increasing our squad size. Which we will this mission. I would like to go with uh, eight, seven or eight troops this mission. I'll get the hybrid materials before that. We didn't. So we got a Operation Blood Tower. Destroy the alien relay. It's an easy difficulty, and we'll get Dr. Emily Hendricks as an engineer. Uh, we'll uh, just go out. We'll go to that mission momentarily. First, we need to go into the options, edit options, and into the long war toolbox. And we'll set the default squad size to 10 because that is my preferred. We'll do nothing else as far as I remember. Well, I could decrease that because it's actually pretty f fun to have that at that. And everything else seemed to be in order. Save and exit. Return to the bridge. Sorry about that. And do the gorilla ops. Setting course for South Africa. Uh, we really head to the resistance HQ to take the small fighter there instead of landing closer. As you can see here, we've got a full team. Um, so we'll just uh, uh, give these guys their uh, their loadout. Now Kamiwa, he's going to be our main assault. The Shino, whatever Shinobi is, um, is the melee class. Oh yeah, I forgot to activate that. I'll activate so you can see the ability. This is the melee class. Um, they have the ability to run up close and actually destroy everything. So sword can be upgraded, which is actually really weird. Kevlar armor can be upgraded with a blast vest. Uh, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, I won't do that though, yet. Anyway, um, we won't do any upgrades. We need to load, change this loadout because while the sword is great, the hunter's axe is actually better. It has a higher damage, one higher damage. So we'll be carrying two axes. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. So now he can throw his sword or his axe while cleaving them into anyway. So that's pretty sweet. And he'll be getting the frost bomb. This grenade don't seem all that powerful, but according to Shen, the liquefied gases inside should lead to an instantaneous freeze effect. Basically, this makes it makes the enemy unable to move for turn, which is pretty sweet. So really important to have that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Is that a shotgun? Are you running around with a shotgun, Barry? Let's have a look here. Shotgun, you are. Jesus Christ, you're ball too, bitch. Uh, since I'm. Why can't. Cannot equip. Okay. But this bitch can run around with a shotgun. Because he's a private first class. Oh, I got. Yeah, I got you. I, I remember now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. You're an assault class. Let's have a look at your loadout. Oh, that's not one of actually. So the abilities. Assault running gun. That's a really excellent ability. That is pretty much the meaning that after I complete this mission, I'll ha have every soldier in the attack squad. The Shinobo, Shinobi, the scout, and the uh, the assault. That's pretty sweet. Um, that means the shotgun is going to be our go-to weapon. I will, however, give you a flashbang because awesomeness, and then I will upgrade your equipment with that shotgun and give you a stock, which no, uh, no, that's the wrong, wrong one. Uh, because I don't really want to give you that. I do want to give you uh, something else. The stock needs to go to somebody who will be overwatching uh, in the future, which means it'll be you because you're going to be my. Uh, What's it called? I already know this because I've predetermined some of their classes. Um, I know you're going to be my uh, my ranger, so that's going to be awesome for you. Uh, da -da -da -da. We need Private Blumquist here needs to be edited a bit. You will not be running with that frag grenade. You'll be giving a med kit. 
Campbell, you're useless anyway, so let's remove that and give you a smoke grenade. At least can do something. Oh, we got two Campbells, Oracle and Midnight. Both of them are Sire operatives later on in the game. Uh, you, I'm going to edit and give you the upgraded uh, upgraded Queen Bee armor. Because that is simply awesome. And then I will upgrade Viri's Kepler vest with the Blast vest. So we actually get increased armor value on that. Which will be really good for uh, assault. I think that's pretty much all there is to do right now. Uh, Griffoon, you could actually have carried that. Uh, two. Anyway, that's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think this is pretty much what we'll be running with. Uh, two, four, six... Okay, 10 troops are ready to move out and we'll see you all next time for Operation Blood Tower as an, and as always remember to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time.